This video is sponsored by PlayStation. I've got more in the way. Hit that like button. Looks like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Me, for example, a mind of unlimited potential shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were free. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. Where are you, MJ? Crap. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Stand is just somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. MJ wants to be a superhero so bad. That gap of the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Out of the way, fella. What was that? Gotta move. Now. Oh, she can move quietly, quickly. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. We're gonna make that guy go over there. Need to draw him away from the stair. What the? And he listens, he falls for it, and just like that, we're out of here. So she's not a superhero, but she is sneaky. She is stealthy. What's that? Got it, time to move. We're making a lot of progress already. You know she's happy. Standish, I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. And that's a long way to go. We've got to keep this stealth up for a while. <laughs> Standish is secure, ma'am. Lockout comms as well. I do not want leaks to press about Michael's or Devil's breath. On it. She's nervous. Standish my- Crap. Generator tripped. I won't distract him for long. How did he not see me? You gotta love this. Ooh, we're right out in the open. How's it looking? Convoy gonna be ready? Five by five. As soon as boss gives the word. Wow, now that was great. I'm actually gonna distract two. Or only one. Okay, one. That guy is just standing there. But wait a second. Oh, okay, see, now he is gonna go that way. So he's distracted. The guy up there, that's a splash. Get that truck moving. Should have been uptown half an hour ago. Copy. We're rolling. Truck's about to move. Should use it as cover. Go, go, go. Turning on the jets. <sighs> Made it. Her story is just way too convenient. That timing was absolutely perfect. Bravo and Charlie are both on deck for Dr. Michael's relocation, ma'am. Add two more units. He carries the only sample of Devil's Breath. I will not be responsible for pandemic. Understood, ma'am. I don't care how many men Sable has. She won't be able to stop Martin Lee. That guard isn't moving much. We have to tip this over. Huh? Who's there? Nobody's there, dummy. Go look for yourself. But now we got another guy back here. So how do I distract him? Maybe I'm gonna have to throw one of those things. Control, we're all clear. But if I do that, will I attract him as well? Will they both go into that corner? Oh no, it's just that guy, and now he's gonna be on the move, and then that means I'm on the move. 
too smooth. Looks important. Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. Running a sweep. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else to secure it. Hope his ego doesn't bite him in the ass. Or us. Again? What's up with these lights? This has got to be embarrassing. How do they have these ghetto lights? They're supposed to be great security. And they can't even keep the power up. Ooh, I gotta move. The lights are back. Move it. <sighs> Close. I'm hustling. Two more guards to fool. Or three more guards. Uh oh. Come on, come on. Or maybe it's just one. We're gonna toss it way over there. So he didn't hear that, so we're gonna have to toss it right there. See, I want him to be out of the picture. Stand by, Control. I heard something. But that's just not realistic. You gotta actually put in some work. Your timing has to be impeccable. And I'm in. I'm out of there. Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. What's that? I've heard your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh, what the that hell? was not a sable guy. Definitely not a sable guy. Heard Sorry, Charlie. Get the back up over here. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. <laughs> well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I, I screwed up. It, it was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military- You know what? Can we not do this right now, please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... <sighs> no. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Hello? Mr. Parker? It's Lee Morales. I want to thank you for getting Miles the job with the pizza shelter. Glad to. And please call me Peter. Mr. Parker is probably someone more together than me. I should tell you. I found an engagement to This is normal therapy. This is the to feel like a victim or be pitied. Gotcha. I'm the same way. I'll let Aunt May know. And I'll make sure I'm there his first day. Thank you again. This means a lot to both of us. Peter. 
here. I'm about to begin another test. Oh, sorry. My bus broke down and uh, there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Back to that lab work. Okay, looks like I could optimize this power relay. I told you these things were gonna get complicated as the game continued. At first it was so easy. Nice. Okay, what next? Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor circuit. In the beginning of the game, you didn't have to think about anything. You just click, click, click. Finished. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. Holy moly, look at all of this. And I think that's gonna do it. All I gotta do is adjust that negative too. And I got it. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I call that a mild success. I call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future. I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I.
Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. We did good work today. We're figuring things out. Man, I remember the first day I interviewed here. Direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Doc's really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. And you know what that means. Uh-oh. Hmm. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. Noticed the decay of my fine motor control. Well, I'm the one who wanted a genius for an assistant. Of course he knows. <sighs> I just need more time. My work can improve millions of lives. Save millions of lives. It can also save my own. I just need more time. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My aunt just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Hi, May. Let me guess. Running late? Nope, I'm actually on my way now. Have you heard from Miles? No, but his mother said he was coming, so... Good. I'll be there soon. Bye. I've got more on the way. Hit that like button. This video is sponsored by PlayStation.